Hello everyone, welcome back to Code by Felix. I'm excited to do another lesson with you guys. So I'm gonna just jump in and go over all the materials we need for today. First thing we need is uh, some sort of canvas, right? And I'm using a 16 by 20 inch canvas. It is already double primed, so I don't need to add anything on it. I, I like to just buy a nice quality canvas so that I can um, immediately just paint on and won't have to deal with pre preparing, you know? So that's what I'm using today. You can use anything you have available, but we're gonna just paint straight on this, okay? For paints, we're gonna use my titanium white from my five set. And then from my 24 set, we're gonna use some of these colors from, from this set. And I'll show you exactly which colors we're gonna use medium yellow, orange, scarlet, sap green, cobalt blue, ultramarine blue, and lamb black. For brushes, we're gonna use my Color by Felix blending brushes right here. We need two of these, one, I like to dab in the water and lay out my colors first. And then the second one, I like to work dry to blend everything in nicely. Okay, and I'll show you. So we need two of these. These are the M1 blending brushes. And then also this is a size smaller M2 blending brush. And we're gonna probably use this for the lower parts right here where we're gonna add some trees. And I'll explain what we're gonna paint today. We need this brush value pack. And I'll show you what's inside here. You got the number eight brush, okay? This will be good for adding bushes and tree and leaves effect, and maybe even some blending some of the areas. And this is a size smaller, it's the same style, but number four, okay? That comes inside that pack. And then also we might use a flat brush. This is a half an inch flat brush. And we might not, we'll see. I think maybe we will, but we'll see. And then we need a zero detail brush for the details, okay? We need palette paper, palette knife, a jar of water, and some paper towels to wipe down your palette knife and dab your brushes on here. That'll be all for the materials. If you're interested in using what I'm using, they are available. Uh, the paints, the canvases, the brushes, the palette paper, everything's available at colorbyfelix.com. You can find everything there. But I always encourage you guys to, um, if, if you can't get them or if you have other materials, go ahead and use it. Use whatever you've got available. It, it should work. Even if the colors are a little bit different, reds or blues or yellows, that's totally fine. Just see what you can create to, and um, let, it, let it naturally you know, I'll show you the, the, the way I mix my paint and all that stuff and the way I blend, but yours will turn out differently than mine. And, and even if I were to do this again, it would turn out completely different. Uh, so just have fun with it. Don't, don't try to stress over uh, certain areas. Take a break if you need to, you know, along the way. Pause, come back to it the next day. I like to work in sections. So for example, if I get the sky all, all done and, and you feel that that's good enough for you for today, Go ahead and take a break, come back to it whenever you feel like painting again and, and pick up your brushes and continue, okay? There'll be breaks, so like I'll, I'll work on section, for example, the sky, and then the, I'll add a little bit of the clouds, and then we're gonna move on to, so this is the painting that we're gonna do today. It's gonna be simple. I hope it will be simple. Um, I'm gonna try to make it simple, but also unique and fun. Um, I just recently moved with my wife to Puerto Rico, so I'm inspired by the landscape here and the tropical weather and the sky, right? It's so beautiful here. So I want to make a nice like cotton candy type of sky here and then add some power lines here and then, um, and then add a bunch of like, trees and, and um, tropical, you know, trees and, and things like that in here and then maybe a, a little house right here. I've had requests uh, because I actually had painted something similar already. I took a picture of it on the way to um, this part of Puerto Rico and I love this view. And so I took a picture on my phone and I recreated one and this is 
it's going to be portrait style. See, this is a portrait style right here. So we're going to paint something like this, but I don't like to copy exactly uh, when, when I, you know, like if I'm going to be recreating something, I like to change it up a little bit. So that's why we're going to do uh, landscape style today. You could totally switch it up, you know, whatever position you want. But we're going to do landscape and then I'm going to probably make it a little bit different not to try to copy exactly like it is because it's almost impossible to recreate exactly like the you know actual painting okay so even for me that's hard so i'm gonna enjoy the process and be free and um, see where it takes me and i encourage you guys to do the same so let's begin we're gonna pick up our pal paper and we're gonna add the colors for the sky first we're gonna get the the sky blended and focus on that part because i like to start from the furthest distant and work my way up close, which is the sky is the furthest distant and then add the clouds or whatever is up close next. And then the faraway trees and then the closer ones, you know, power lines and all that stuff, whatever's next. OK, so I like to work in that uh, these kind of sections in layers, as I would call them. So let's go ahead and mix some colors. All right. Here's our palette, clean palette sheet. What's nice about these is once you're done, you don't have to scrub off all the leftover paint into the sink, right? You just rip it off and bunch it up and throw it away. There's 40 sheets in here, so I love that. I love this. This is a good design, which um, is also nice and clean and fast. So we're gonna pick up titanium white. Oh, I'd like to mention before we continue, you know, going into the, the painting, I just wanna remind you that I am releasing lessons and I am actually releasing more in-depth lessons every month to my mentorship people that subscribed and, and um, are on my mentorship program which you can be a part of as well if you're interested in receiving more in-depth lessons that will be available at the link below in the description okay let's start with titanium white and we're going to create about let's create about i would say four to five piles let's just start with so I'm going to do about two thumbs amount of white. Okay. Here, same thing here. And maybe a little less than maybe a thumb and a half. And then a little less here. Okay. Maybe another one right here, a little one. And if we need to, we'll add more. So each time gradually go a little less. Okay. And then again, it doesn't have to look exactly like mine. I always say this. Okay. So, um, the measurements doesn't, you know, doesn't really, you know, matter that much to have exactly what I'm using because it's, your painting is going to turn out beautiful and unique. Okay. So now, and you could use these lessons as practice as well for your future, you know, work that you're going to create. So we're going to need medium yellow. And what we're going to do is add a touch right in here, very small amount right in here very small amount and then a little bit in here a little more in here there we don't want to add too much next let's pick up orange and we're going to add a little bit in here okay and then a small touch in here let's pick up scarlet and add also a small touch in here okay and I think maybe a little bit of that in here. Very, very small amount. Very small amount. Let's pick up cobalt blue and add about this much and then a little bit in here. So a little more on, on the blue. Ultramarine blue. I'm not gonna add it there, but I am gonna add it right in here. About this much. Okay, maybe a little more like this and I might mix more colors maybe one more final color here let's just mix what we have and then see if we need to add more okay so palette knife I'm gonna bring the colors a little closer so you guys can see okay like this and with the palette knife we're gonna start with the lightest color and we're gonna just chop like we're chopping vegetables and that's how I mix And this is important to know that if you want a nice, beautiful blend in your sky, 
mixing your colors on the palette is important, okay? Because, um, and acrylics tend to dry in a more, like when they're wet, they're a little lighter. So once they're dry, they tend to become like a little bit of a darker tone, which is not a problem. If you already, if you know that, you will add a little more white to, um, so like for all these shades will turn out a little bit more, a little bit more darker, not too much. But like I said, it's all fine. There's no rules really, like there really shouldn't be any rules. You should just create and enjoy the process and just have fun. That's, that's all, you know? So, and then I bunch it up in a pile like this. Okay, so the paint will stay nice and wet uh, for a longer period of time. Um, and then we're gonna mix our second shade. We're gonna make the sky very like, you know, soft, but also have like beautiful, like hints of color in there, you know, like, um, like it's almost turning evening, like it's 5.30 or five. Here in Puerto Rico, it actually goes down, the sunset goes down around 6.30 every single day. So there you have it. The next one is like a light orange and then we're going to have a nice lighter pink. We want to add a little bit of pink in our sky, right? Going to make it look nice and tropical. So mix everything. Okay, and then bunch it up like this. And I do, I like kind of move it and then squeeze it like this, okay? So that works nicely. I don't really need to clean the palette knife because once we mix this color in the sky, it's all gonna um, blend anyway, you know? So actually, if anything, a little bit of each color onto some of these colors actually could be a good thing, you know? So this color right here, I wanna make it a little bit more lighter for the bottom part. So I'm gonna add more white there about this much, like a some amount of white. Maybe since we're at it, let's add a little bit more here. Okay. Because I want to make sure that that blue is not too bright. Okay, that's good right there. Okay. Maybe even add a little bit more blue because I feel like I made it now too light which is not a problem. What we're gonna do is just take the cobalt blue from this one a little bit, just take it from there and mix it. You don't need that much. We just wanna make it more like leaning towards blue. Okay. So mix it nicely and once you have that, bunch it up like this and then um, let's mix our last one. Now for this last one, I'm actually gonna add a little bit of lamb black. Okay, a touch of lamb black because it's gonna be like, like a very small amount like this. Okay, we don't want too much, but we want some. And then you can take part of um, this lighter blue and mix it all and make it a little bit more it kind of dulls the color a little bit, you know, makes it a little darker, but it doesn't make it like super, you know, bright. See, that's nice. We want the sky to look soft. Okay, there you go. So we have our colors mixed here. Okay, so you could see from lightest to darkest, and now we're ready to paint. All right, so we're gonna cover about a little more than half the canvas here just with all the colors we have mixed. Remember to clean your palette knife. I like to use a paper towel, dab it in the water jar, uh, the, the palette knife, and then just kind of wipe it off so that paint won't dry up in there, okay? So let's pick up one of our M1 blending brushes and we're going to also need the water jar right next to us. So like if you have like a little table or something 
where you can have the water jar next to you okay so mine is going to be right off off the camera but it's going to be on the side here and so what i'm going to do is first i'm going to dab all the way my brush in the water so it could be nice and you know wet and then squeeze part of it out okay so that water won't drop okay there's still some water in there see if i squeeze really like pretty hard you'll see more water come out see but we want to keep some water in there so we're gonna put the brush in squeeze part of it out like this so that water won't drip okay so and whenever basically whenever i'm gonna say i'm dabbing my brush in the water i'm basically saying this brush like before i pick up more paint um just a tip maybe like a little bit right here in a tip just a tip dab it lightly in the water not all the way okay just slightly in the water like this so that your paint can stay a little bit more wet wet if you need to so water why i like to use water instead of mediums it works the best it, once it dries it's evenly it looks evenly like matte or like glossy whatever your paint you're using you know it just looks evenly like it looks great you know what i mean um uh, give it a shot see maybe you like to use mediums better but what with water it keeps the paint wet longer so you have more time to you know blend and work on it and i encourage you guys to practice this process because it's actually right now very uh, pretty easy for me because i already caught the technique and so for me blending is a lot of fun because i can create any colors any kind of blend and it's a lot of fun because once you catch the technique it's actually a lot of fun you could do a lot of magic with these blending brushes it's a lot of fun so water and our colors here and we're going to start with the lightest color and we're just going to kind of lay out the colors where we think we want the clouds to be and um, so basically i want a little bit of the blue showing somewhere like in the middle here and then some clouds on the side uh, like very misty kind of clouds uh, going into the the blues on top a little bit okay something like that and let's see what happens so i have some water here we're gonna go ahead and start with the lightest color okay just pick up your light color right you have some water in there and some paint and we're gonna randomly add it right here and if you see bubbles that's good so you, because you have water in there and you want to actually see a little bit of bubbles you don't want water to start dripping that means you have too much water and i'd encourage you, encourage you to squeeze a little bit more out um, because you want it more like like this um, and when, whenever you feel like it's, it's um, less water, then that's when you, um, it starts to drag or something. That's when I'll tell you to dab your brush in the water, okay? So I'll be doing that. Um, and so let's randomly add it right there. You can go all the way down if you want to. And then maybe in here, like a little bit in here. So I'm taking more paint. I don't need water because I feel like I have enough water already in there so i'm just gonna go like that okay that's good enough i'm gonna uh, i'm not gonna dab my brush in the water because i see that i still have a pretty good amount of water right so next i'm gonna go into my orange okay and i'm gonna just add it mix it in a little bit with the yellow that i just added randomly okay randomly add that yellow in there and here okay and then let's add a little bit of that orange on top right here like this connecting with this all right so i still have water i see i don't need to dab my brush in the water because i could see it's working you know i'm working wet and it's turning out pretty good so next i'm gonna use this red and I'm going to add, add it right here on the bottom. Go all the way down if you want to. So now I'm going to dab my brush lightly, just the tip in the water, and then pick up more of that red, randomly add it there. And then let's randomly add it right there. Mix it in with that orange. You can bring it up to the top, why not? Like this, that's good. Dab my brush lightly in the water and pick up more of this red. And let's add it right in here okay like this that's good enough okay for this part i'm actually gonna clean my brush and the way i do it it's gonna be simple i'm lightly gonna press down like this i'm not gonna like force it i don't want to ruin my brushes but i'm gonna swirl and kind of 
clean out my brush like this real quick. It doesn't have to be fully clean, but we don't want like too much of the red and the colors. And then squeeze part of it out, okay, like this. And we're gonna start with um, the light blue color that we have mixed. Pick up that and let's add it in the middle. So I'm gonna dab my brush slightly in the water and I'm gonna add that blue somewhere in the middle, randomly spread it out, okay, like that. Okay, dab my brush slightly in the water. You can mix it with a little bit of red, you know, on the sides, why not, like this. And you can go to the corner a little bit if you want. So with that blue, I'm gonna add a little bit in here, right here in the corner. Okay, and then now I'm gonna use the darkest blue color we have mixed. I dab my brush slightly in the water and then I'm just gonna add it randomly in here. And you could use a little bit of red in there as well. Okay, we're gonna just evenly spread everything. Make sure your paint is spread evenly everywhere so that it can blend nicely, okay? So I'm gonna mix it with a little bit of that red and blue right here on the bottom and randomly blend it. Okay, so now I'm gonna do the same thing, clean out my brush. I'm gonna squeeze the water out, okay? And so my brush is kind of clean again, okay? And what I'm gonna do is take part of the orange and red, okay, the lighter, lighter colors, and then just kind of go over a little bit on some of these areas, like right here, go over, okay? Just randomly. And that will be good. I'm gonna clean it out and add a little bit more. You don't need to do this, but I'm gonna add a little bit of more of this lighter color right here on the bottom, okay? Right here on the bottom. There you go. That's good enough. All right, so now I'm gonna put my brush down and pick up in my palette, and I'm gonna pick up my dry blending brush, right? And we're gonna start swirling, okay? Let's start swirling from the lighter areas. So gently with a dry blending brush, lightly press and swirl and blend gently. I'm barely pressing the canvas. And let it naturally, like shapes start to appear naturally, okay? Let it naturally happen for you, okay? So I'm, gonna, I'm not gonna go over to the blue yet, just blending where the lighter colors are. Okay. Carry that, carry it upwards. Okay, gently. Now you can move around and find your position in where it's most comfortable for you to do this. Okay. Now this part, I'm gonna blend the lighter blue color right here. I'm gonna blend out that light yellow-ish orange color down and then into the middle. Take away all the bubbles and the brush strokes. That's what a dry blending brush does. Okay, like that. See how nice that works? So I'm gently pressing upward and carrying my paint around. Okay. And when you evenly spread the paint, everywhere, it works very nicely. But if you leave chunks at certain areas, you sometimes have to spend time, you know, spreading that paint around, which isn't a problem that happened to me more than once, and it's fine. So basically, gently blend everything and take away the brush strokes. It fills in all the canvas holes, the paint, you know, and so it covers everything nicely. There you go. We have our quick blend of the sky. You could start seeing the clouds, smooth clouds start to happen, right? 
with and then the background blue is showing up. That's what we want. All right, so now while this dries, the first section is done, I'm gonna clean out my brushes and get a new water jar so that it's good to do this to take care of your brushes so that they'll last you a lot longer. And um, so I'm just gonna, so that they won't sit in the water, I'm gonna clean them out real quick. And then we're gonna continue um, adding a little bit of details on the clouds. I don't wanna add too much, but just a little bit, okay? And then we'll be ready to add our power lines. All right, my friends, so I cleaned my blending brushes and I got a new water jar. Okay, real quick, it took me about like five, five minutes to do that. Um, I wanna also give you guys a little tip on, remember I said about taking care of your blending brushes. So basically I, what I do is I use a little bit of soap and you can use dish soap or we have some actual uh, paint soap. Um, and it's on, available on the website as well, but basically you swirl the, a little bit of the soap and you, you use your palm to kind of like swirl everything out and rinse it out in, in like a warm water, okay? And so when I clean it, I use paper towel to kind of squeeze part of the water out and then I swirl, okay? So this is, and then you get it fluffy back up. So once it's dry, it's ready for you to have a nice fluffy brush. So just a little tip, okay, for future. I forgot to mention, I did use a hair roll dryer after I cleaned my brushes to dry the remaining you know, areas that needed to be dry. You don't want to, if there's a section that is wet and you start to paint on it, it's gonna take away that paint and you'll see the white canvas showing this part. And we don't want that. We want the first layer to be nice and dry and then we add a second layer. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna add a few of like little clouds highlights okay to the clouds and then we'll we'll be done okay so so i did have some colors left i usually don't like to waste colors so what i'm gonna do is add a little bit of white and we're gonna add some yellow to the white um, and then we're gonna take part of this i'll show you exactly so a touch of white not too much and a little bit of medium yellow Let's take the rest of this. Okay, I'm gonna just take the rest of this. There's, you could see, a little bit left. I'm gonna take part of it and mix it in with this. Okay, mix it all in. Gives a nice, more of a yellow color. We're gonna add some highlights and things to our clouds. Okay, and for now, I think I'm gonna just use that and then just a little bit of the white straight out of the tube. A little bit, not too much. Okay, so just these two colors for now and if we need to add or take some orange, we will. All right, so remember to dab your brush or your palette knife in the water and clean it so paint won't dry in there. And what we're gonna use is our number four brush right here. And we're gonna dab this brush all the way in the water. You know, dab it and make sure it's uh, not rough, but it becomes, like in a minute, it's gonna become soft and nice and damp, okay? So what we're gonna do is take this color, okay, the yellow, and take it like this, and I have uh, my brush is damp, remember? And we're gonna start adding some clouds, highlights, and where we think we, where you want them, right? So I'm just gonna randomly start from this corner. So the, I think the hill, or the, yeah, the hill's gonna be starting from here, so a lot of it's gonna be covered. It's gonna go down right here somewhere and then come back up in here, so. I'm just gonna randomly start adding it right in here. And what I like to do is I use a, the corner of my brush and I swirl it like I do with like the blending brushes, but like I, I like do it in a smaller like circle, okay? And I blend it outwards, okay? So you could see I'm, um, so I'm gonna use a little bit of this white because I'm going into the, blue area and I'm gonna kind of 
kind of go up and have it attach to this cloud. And then remember my brush is a little damp and I'm barely pressing and using my corner. Because when your brush is a little damp, you, you can spread the paint, you know, make it look soft. We don't want to make it look too sharp. We just swirl and skip some areas, you know, and connect certain areas just to make it look interesting. Okay, so use a little bit of that white and play with the yellow and white. Um, the yellow gives a nice, like, bright effect of the, from the sun. So I'm going to add on, usually I'll add the yellow more onto these, where the orange cloud is. Okay. So I'm going to blend it out like this. So use a little bit of that light. Yellow. And then... And I'm gonna, I'm not gonna do it everywhere, but I'm gonna create little, you know, highlights to make my clouds more like defined, a little more defined, okay? So, a little bit of the white and yellow, and let's add a little bit in here. And blend it out. You see it's very light, it's not too much. We don't wanna make it dramatic because we want to keep it looking soft. Now, also, if you liked the way your blend it was and you don't want to add any clouds, you can sk skip this step as well. This is, these little steps just make um, your painting look more interesting. That's why I continued working on them. So I dab my brush slightly in the water when you start feeling like your um, the paint isn't like spreading softly okay then you can add a little bit of dab your brush in water and then you know continue so I like to skip some areas you see so add a little bit on certain areas and kind of follow where I think it would look good. Like for example, here, it looks like it's like kind of bending this way. So I'm gonna let it bend that way. And then I'm just going to connect it here. Use a little bit of the white. Connect this area. You see this like darker strip? I'm not gonna go in here too much, but I'm gonna continue, start continuing it back right in here. Like it's almost like they separated from each other a little bit, okay? So I'm gonna dab lightly my brush in the water and make sure basically I'm making it damp, okay? Okay, right here. I'm Gonna add a little more in here. A little more clouds in here. There. Make it look more interesting, you know? And then I'm going to use a little bit of the white, just the white. And if there's a little bit of yellow, that's okay. But with just white, I'm going to add it right in here, kind of fade it out. And then where I want certain areas to be like blended, um, spread out, I press a little bit harder, not too hard, but just a little bit harder than usual. And if you need a little more water, you can dab your brush in the water, damp it, put it on the paper towel, you know, so you won't have too much water. You don't want water dripping you know you want it to just be damp so with a little bit of the white okay i'm gonna i'm going to bring it down wherever i want it to end so i'm gonna fade it out 
right in here. Okay. And then continue adding your a little bit of the yellow. And this is where um, after you, you know, the yellow part right here, after you added all your, um, you're going out more. Now you can use a little bit orange and, and, um, and yellow, you know, as you go out. But for now, let's just continue adding the yellow real quick. Just as we go out right in here, I'm going to add certain areas where I want it to stand out a little more. Yellow right there here. Okay, and then let's add it a little bit in here. Okay, blend it out. You see it's a hint, it's not too much. in the water continue doing the same thing and then go up all the way randomly add the clouds in here see how it's lightly adding some you know details to the clouds. We want to make it look like that. Okay. And then I'm going to add a little bit more of that yellow in here. I want this area to glow. Because that's what makes it stand out. A little bit of yellow in here. and then a little bit more in here. Okay, and remember, like I said about that orange, I'm gonna use a little bit of this orange and a little bit of yellow. Mix it in randomly, and then we're gonna continue with that orange and a little bit of yellow. And we're gonna add some of the clouds in, up in, in the sky. with the orange. And if you have a little bit of red, also I have a little bit right here, mix it in with the orange. And then I'm just gonna randomly add it and fade it out. Dab and brush in the water. Use a little bit of that red and orange. We don't want to make it too and so I'm gonna continue. Use a little bit of that red. and orange so my brush needs a little bit more water so again i'm just playing with the orange and the red here just getting a little bit more color you know i'm not taking too much color because the damp water helps add a little bit of the highlights, you know, but not too much. We don't want to 
make it stand out too too much you know that's why I'm I'm using a little bit of the colors so swirl and spread the paint evenly okay maybe let's add a little bit of white and orange right in here why not so basically have fun with this you know doing this technique over and over with whatever color you want to play with these colors you know and add as much clouds as you want in your sky it's going to be totally up to you Okay, a little more on this side, we don't want this side to be empty, we want to make it look even everywhere. Let's add some in here. in the water I think I added too too much here but that's okay with a damp brush I just spread it out just spread it out and it'll fade away yeah. always there's always a way to make make it fix things and make it look nice always So a little bit of white and orange, I'm going to add right here, a little too much white, that's okay. I clean my brush, go back to the orange, and with the orange, I'm going to spread it out. A little bit of white and orange right in here so it could be balanced and add a little bit of white in here okay and then the same thing a little white and orange and let's add that right in here okay and we will add a little bit more in here. So basically, that is how you get your highlights to your sky. Let's add, let's see, I'm just trying to think if I should add anywhere else, maybe a little bit of white lightly in here like very lightly bring it down okay so a little bit of white okay let's add it right here in the bottom maybe some yellow actually since we added yellow in there let's fade it down so i'm gonna Take a step back and see if I want to add any more. And I think I'm going to add a little bit of white or white, um, yellow and orange. And I want to add right here. I want to make this area brighter, connecting here. A little bit of the yellow and white and taking a look at this and then I think I'm gonna add 
a little bit in here. A little bit, make this brighter in here. So I'm gonna clean my brush and use a little bit of the orange and yellow and add it right in the middle, right here and here. I want some of these to be a little bit more brighter and fade it out. Just like that. Fade it out. Okay, and then here, I wanna add a little bit of yellow and white, and I want to connect this area. Make it a little more brighter right in here. Okay, so use a little bit of white and yellow, and let's connect this area. Make it look more like, you know, it's coming in. Because that's what it looks like to me. Looks like it's coming in this way. A little bit of white and yellow here to brighten certain areas, mainly in the middle. So here, for the final thing for the clouds is just with the white, I want to lighten some of this area right in here. With the white and maybe a touch of yellow. So basically white, a touch of yellow, not too much. And we're gonna try to make this softer. Maybe connect part of it. Okay. Swirl and take your colors out. Okay, and then a little bit of white on the edges of some of these clouds right here. You know, very, very small amount of white. That'll make it, this cloud stand out, you know? So white and a little bit of yellow right on the bottom right here. Okay, we wanna make a glow more in the middle. So that's why I'm trying to make it. And once this is done, it, and you start to add your, you know, power lines and all the details on top of this, I'm telling you, it's gonna stand out so nicely. So that's why I'm spending a little more time on the sky, because after you're done with this, everything else will be looking great. So spend some time doing this. Okay, wherever you think you need, you want the highlights, okay? So a little bit more lighter color right in here, kind of going out to the sky in there. Okay, a little bit of the yellow and white in here and blend it out. All right, once you're done adding all the beautiful details to your clouds using these colors, like yellow and that white, 
you know, and adding all your details the way you want, you know, to your clouds, making them brighter, a little bit more, you know, certain areas. Obviously, we want this to be brighter area and fade it out to the dark and that's it. So I didn't want to overdo it, but this is, I wanted some character in my sky because that's kind of what I saw when I was driving to this town. The sky was so beautiful. There was a lot of little little clouds and, you know, beautiful um, shapes in the clouds, right? So basically, once you're done with that, you can always come back to this section, right? You can come back and work on this later. But let's move on to the next section. So we're going to add some power lines. Very simple. I had leftover blue, remember? I'm just going to take part of the leftover blue and I added some lamb black and just mix it all in it's going to give you like a dark gray color right like a dark one we don't want a light gray we want to and we don't want a straight you know black out of the tube as well we want to like a nice dark gray like this okay and with this color we're going to use our zero detail brush and we're going to dab our detail brush in the water because it's important to have water and then we're gonna swirl take some of this color and we're gonna swirl it right make the tip nice and fine and then we're gonna from one angle we're just gonna slowly move your whole arm you know and kind of make like a like a happy smiley face but not too much you know so like from here, I'm just gonna go down and maybe from even higher, I'm gonna go from here and all the way like this. Even if it's not straight, that's okay. Sometimes power lines are not straight. And then one right here next to it, I'm gonna add, you know, one that's going across. So dab my brush in the water, swirl it because then you can have a nice fine tip and then okay and make like five of those or as many as you want. Okay. So dab my brush in the water and let's make a lip one next to this one, kind of crossing it and going like this, okay? And so basically, first I sketch it out. Maybe this one's a little lower, like that. And then I'll add one next to it, okay? Like this. Maybe one a little bit lower right here going in okay so now once I added as much power lines as I wanted you know then I can go over and like making it more like detailed so it's hard to record this because I'm gonna go in and kind of go over everything with the same color with water and the same color going over everything and making it more defined okay so that's what I'm gonna spend some time doing okay so you could see I made it more defined you know went over um, the power lines and now I'm gonna add some birds right and I'm just gonna use the same color and I'm gonna just add like a little like a head you know in the body of the bird uh, sitting on the power line and I'm just gonna randomly add it you know maybe a little tail here you know make, make it look like a bird it, it's like a shadow of a bird you know it doesn't have to be perfect okay so that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna spend some time kind of doing that
after you're done adding your details to your birds, we're gonna, I'm, I started with a new palette paper so it could be easy for you guys to see what I'm mixing. Um, I'm gonna cover part of the, I'm just gonna put a base coat of the ground just to cover the canvas and kind of sketch it out real quick. So I added some lamb black, a little bit of white, a medium yellow and some sap green, okay? Something like this, okay? The portion, uh, the amount doesn't really matter. This is just the base, okay? We just want a darker kind of color, um, like a darker green. But since we added white to it a little bit, it, it doesn't make it too like, you know, like vibrant or too much of, um, of the color. So actually, I'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit more white just to kind of, um, you know, make it a little less intense. Okay, just a touch of white. There you go, much better. And this will be like the base coat for the ground, for, I mean, for the hill and the trees. Okay, that's good. We don't, it doesn't need to be perfect. So, so I'm just gonna clean out my palette knife and we're gonna add this as the base coat to our ground. So first, what I'm gonna do is pick up my number eight brush, dab it in the water all the way, and then, then onto the paper towel and let's randomly take this color right and then let's sketch out our hill where it's going to be the the height of our hill so i'm going to let it go down so i'm going to actually cover a lot of this so i'm going to go down maybe let it come up here and then maybe fade it out in here because i like this blue and then maybe there's a little hill here okay because i don't want to like copy exactly like I paint, uh, you know, on my other painting I did, but I want to make a little hill here and then maybe another hill coming down like this and then going up, back up again, up in here, something like this. Okay. So that way our, um, you know, our hill can look interesting. Okay, so that's the sketch of our hill. That's what we're gonna do. Okay, obviously we're gonna add some trees and nice like cool details. But now, remember I said the M2 blending brush? Let's pick that up, dab it all the way in the water. Okay, squeeze it out kind of like what we did in the beginning. We're just gonna take this color and randomly add it. Okay. Randomly, we're gonna cover up until where we sketched. And it's okay if you, you know, go over a little bit um, on top because we're gonna add all the trees and details so it's gonna all look nice. Dab my brush in the water, take this color, and randomly add it in here. Okay. Dab it in the water, pick up more of this color, and let's continue covering everything here. Something like this, okay? So I'm gonna take the remainder of this color and I'm going to cover everything, okay? Cover the remaining area of the canvas with this color. We just want to create a base for our mountains and we don't want the white canvas showing. So even if there's a little bit of white canvas showing right now, that's totally fine because we're going to add details in a moment. So just take the remainder of that color and cover everything. There you go. Okay, and you can go back and forth, swirl. I actually like swirling better because it'll create 
more of a bush, you know, tree bush look. So there you go. Okay, something like that. We're going to let this dry. I'm going to use Airboro Dry to quickly dry it so it can continue um, adding more. And, um, and then we're going to mix some colors to start adding details. All right, so this is dry and we, I added some colors here and I'll explain. So basically some white, yellow, a touch of sap green, very small amount, and then a little bit of white, a little bit of orange, yellow, about the same amount there, and more sap green you could see right there. And then sap green about the same amount, a little more orange, and black, lamp black, okay? So something like this, all right? And we're gonna mix this. I'm gonna mix it real quick and show you the colors it, I have mixed. All right, so this is the colors I have. You could see it's like light um, yellowish green going into this green and then this dark green. Oh, by the way, I added a small amount of white so that it won't be, because it was like very black, it's like very dark, you know, but I didn't want it to be too black. So added a touch of white, mixed it in here. So it's given me this like, like a darker green, okay? Darker than this color we have mixed. That's, that's all that matters is if we can get it darker than this, we're good to go, okay? So something like this, let us pick up our number eight brush right here and then Let's dab it on the paper towel so it won't be too wet, but damp. And let's begin with, um, let's begin with the darkest. So let's take part of this color, okay, like this, and we're gonna dab like that, okay? We're gonna take this color and starting from this corner, we're just gonna dab Okay, we're gonna dab and, you know, like um, create like the tree effect. Now I want this to be a little bit taller, so I'm gonna make some of these trees a little bit more bigger, okay? So I'm gonna let it go up a little higher. Okay, I'm gonna let this go down a bit and then you can blend it out to the green parts. But I want to make it a little taller because I want this area. So I decided to make a little house like somewhere right here in the corner, you know. So I want this area to be actually higher, higher than this area. So let's make this one a little higher. And I'm dabbing, carrying the paint down. So then drop it down. And then I'm blending and kind of like carrying the paint down. Okay. And this is like the base of our like tree branches and stuff. And then, and then there I'm going to add more like details. Okay. But for now I'm just kind of adding all my details where I think trees, where I think will look good, you know, so bring it down and blend all the background colors for now. And then I'm gonna go up here a little bit. Kind of let it, I'm gonna drop right in here somewhere. Okay, I'm gonna drop somewhere in here. So this will be all covered in here. There you go. Okay, so I made it a little taller, you could see. So now, I'm going to have some trees that are like kind of like coming out of the um, I think maybe some palm trees. Let's just make it palm, like palm trees. So I'm just using my corner of my brush and creating dabbing and creating like a palm tree look. Okay. And it doesn't have to be all detailed and perfect. Okay. These are far away trees like that. Okay, maybe there's one in here. Okay. 
because we're going to come back with a detail brush and, and the smaller brush and add more details. So don't spend too much time on this part. Let's add palm tree right in here, a smaller one maybe because it's further away. Okay, like this. Okay, and then here we're going to add some trees that are like, maybe there's a tree that is like right in here. And then we're going to add the details to our tree later. But I'm just adding all my trees that I think would be looking good, you know. So maybe it goes in higher in there. Okay. And I'm lightly dabbing, okay, lightly dabbing and pressing. So as I go down, I'm gonna lightly press with the darkest color. Lightly press. And add all your details. Okay, so here this is like a little hill, right? I'm going to add a little tree coming out from here and then from here, from this hill. I want to make it look tropical. Okay, and let's continue. So, little ones here and then here. I'm gonna create some trees in here. Let's add another I'm just trying to think where I can add another maybe palm tree. I wonder if I should add one right here. Actually, let's leave it and then maybe, maybe I'll add some more later. Let's add our details first here. So maybe there's a tree right in here. And in here. Okay, and I'm lightly dabbing and then I'll fade out right in here. Okay, so something like this, we're going to come back to those details later, but let's continue adding this dark shade and we're going to just dab and create highlights where we, where we think, you know, the trees, um, trees are. So for example, I'm going to have a tree in here. These are like the shadows and things, right? And I'm kind of going over some of these. And we'll, we'll go over with all the details also as we, you know, work our way up close. Like we'll add more details, but for now I'm adding the dark shadows. And then, so maybe there's dark shadows in here. Kind of going up in there. I'm making different kinds. Um, just gonna follow where the, so for example, this circle is like a tr big tree. I'm gonna follow the patterns of, you know, where the big trees might be. So maybe there's a big tree here coming down. One, two, right there. And like I said, we're gonna add a little house somewhere on the hill, so.
randomly gonna cover as the base. And here, maybe there's a tree here like this. And like I said, we're gonna I'm gonna add more details. So here it kind of comes down. So I'm just gonna make this dark, and then there's a bigger tree right in here. So I'm adding like more like you know circular kind of shapes connecting the shadows. And things in the okay. So for now, that's good. Add some of the dark areas. Blend it out. Okay, that's good. I'm not gonna clean my brush, I'm gonna continue. Let's use this green one that we have mixed and then use the same brush and I'm gonna outline some of these trees. Remember um, the ones that are a little bit closer to us. So make it kind of circular, okay? So I'm dabbing it, right? I'm dabbing and you know, So remember the highlights where you added, you want to, for example, this is a tree here. You wanna make sure you leave those, you know. Fill those in with the lighter green and I'm dabbing like I said even if you cover some of the darker areas that we added that's totally fine we just want to make it look tropical Some will be more brighter than the others. And dabbing and kind of making basically I'm filling in the areas where I left um, where I didn't go over the dark, right? And the more you add details, the more you go back and forth and you know, it'll start to come to life. So like, you know, like, um, let it naturally guide, let your br brush naturally guide you, okay? So you won't be too worried, you know, like, oh, not sure if I'm doing this right, it's okay. Just as long as you're, you know, adding all the little details, it's gonna come to life, you'll see. First, you just need to fill in the, the lights and the darks and then you go back and, and forth and you'll start to see it. Obviously, you don't wanna cover everything um, this, in the same way, right? You, you wanna make little patches. You know, obviously smaller patches on top because these are up high, right? But as you get lower here, you wanna make like a bigger patch, you know? because these are like bigger trees up in here, for example, right here, you know? And then right in 
here as well. And this one as well. And then I'm going to add some in here. Okay. You can even add it a little bit on these trees that we added. Yeah, there you go. See how nice it looks? Now it looks more like details, you know, on them. Okay, so now we shaped everything out, right? Where we think, you know, now it's starting to come together. Now we're starting to see some shapes of trees and things. Now let's go to the lighter color and even make some of the trees defined more. For example, let's start from the bottom. For example, this, I see this as a, as a bigger tree right here and I'm barely pressing and adding my details to my branches leaves and things right and then this is a tree right here so i'm gonna add it right in here kind of make it circular and then fade out okay same thing here see there's a little tree right here so then right here there's a tree you see I'm just kind of going over on the top because that's where the light is hitting the tree and then skipping and not going all the way down, just on top. Okay, and then maybe there's red here at the highlights on top of this tree. Okay, and then there's one in here, some in here lightly. Okay, and we're just making it more defined. Okay, and then some in here, some trees right in here. Let's make it a little more defined right in here. On top right here. And fade it out on the bottom here. Okay, so Take your time and add all, as you go up, right, we want to, well, let's finish this side. Some in here in this corner. is making some drum beats today as I'm 
pressing. So have fun with this and then fade it out as you go to the top. You don't need to add too much at the top because they're smaller trees, you know, further up there. So don't worry about too much adding the top area. So actually, you know how we can make it um, faded, add a little bit of white, just straight from the tube, right? And this green and some of this white, some of this white, it makes the color a little bit more dull. And we wanna add it like further up in there. And I use my finger to kind of you know, blend everything out, make it look not sharp. Here, um, this is like more of the darker area, so I'm not gonna mess with this side too much. So I'm going over the darker now areas from the back, right? Cause it's, we wanna make gradual, like the smallest to biggest trees, right? coming at you, that's what we want. So, so I'm gonna do that right in here as well. And you could skip some areas, you know, so it could look balanced. Some are gonna be darker, some gonna be lighter. Okay, so use that white and yellow, and let's add that effect on this side as well. here. Okay. You see how it's starting to come out <laughs> nicely. It's like it's going in, you know, because we added smaller ones further back. That's what we want. So a little bit of that white and yellow and we could even define it some of them a little more, you know. Maybe the light is hitting some further away and it's creating beautiful highlights in our woods, in our hill, you know? And as you get closer, they get bigger, the trees. So I added, I mixed a little bit of white and that yeah, uh, green, light green, right? And I'm gonna kind of add some of these trees, the highlights of my trees here. Okay, take your time on this, don't rush it, have fun with it. Leave the darks, some of the dark spaces. You don't wanna overdo it, okay? So here I'm going to do the same thing, add a little bit of that light color on my closer tree. I'm gonna let this be dark in here. And then I'm gonna add more 
of that lighter white with mix in this tree. here, define it more. So now once you added your highlights, you can go back and, you know, go over again with the dark color in number eight. And you can like start to go over the darker shadows, right? You can go in a little bit where the trees are, but like you want to darken some of the um, parts where it's dark, right? Because we're going to add some details. So let's add some of the highlights. Okay, and you can, as you go out here, you can lightly dab some in here, in between where you added the light, okay? To create depth. And I'm gonna spend some time trying to, you know, add maybe even some inside the trees Okay, so I'm gonna do that. Wherever you think will look good. Okay, so maybe a little bit in here. Let's move on here. Just going over again. And that's how I detail things. I just quickly sketch it out, go back, use the same color back and forth add more layers, you know, more details. And, and it just like you, you're like carving away, you know, defining things as you go. Okay, so a little more detail right in here. In this tree, and add some dark ones. And once you're done with that, it, and like I said, you can go back and forth with the darks and the lights doing that same thing. You can go back again, do it with a, um, the lighter color if you want as well. So it's totally up to you how much time you want to spend. For now, you know, I can, I, I will go back to this later, but for now I'm going to continue to show you guys the next step. So once I added all my darks, right, where I want the dark shadows to be, now I'm going to go back with the detail brush and use the darkest color, swirl, and use the detail brush. And then I'm going to, where my palm trees are, I'm going to draw a little, you know, kind of bring it down. So use a little bit of water and fade it out. Okay, do the same thing here it out okay all these beautiful details and then here you can go one in there and then this one remember this is a tree so I'm gonna add like little 
branches and details to this one and fade it out in there somewhere. Okay. Okay, so now for the palm tree, I'm going to add some details. A few details, not much. Just make the the ends more defined. And that's it. Okay. I'm not gonna spend too much time on them because they're far away. You could if you want to, but for me, I'm just going to add a few little details towards the end and call it good. Okay, so for example, here I want to detail okay so moving on maybe there's some branches here to these trees few more here okay and then same thing here details okay so once we added our details to our palm trees I'm gonna make it a little bit more thicker there a little more probably just because I can okay and this one as well dab my brush in water if you need to and go all the way, make it as thicker on the bottom. There. That's much better. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is add a little bit of white. So I added white, and then I'm gonna take part of this dark color, mix it all in, maybe take part of the green okay that's good so it'll be like a grayish leaning towards a little bit of green okay something like this all right clean your palette knife with the detail brush we're going to continue detailing and this is going to be fun part so i used water like i always do and remember the darker areas i'm going to just add my little details, you know, connecting to the trees we have added, okay? So, and you can use your finger to kind of Okay, and all this gonna be 
detailed with this greenish gray lightly and so that will create like an interesting look to your trees okay so so here so basically i'm going to spend time doing that okay I think will look good. So for example here, this tree, right? There you go. And and we don't want to do it everywhere, but just on certain areas. Obviously more to, on the bottom because they're closer to us, you know? But in here you can add a few going sideways, you know? up in the hill as you get higher. So you, water helps to do that. Okay, so spend some time doing that and then maybe here. I'm gonna always dab my brush in the water, swirl your brush. And I wanna add one that is going that way okay here let's add some bigger ones since it is up close we want to add more details right up close in here okay so. So once you're done adding all your branches and, you know, the details of the trees, let's move on. And the final step is we're going to add like a little house right here. And so I added white and white and a touch of orange and yellow and just uh, white and orange. So I'm not, I'm not going to take too much orange, very small amount of orange because I want it to look um, more leaning towards yellow but I want it to be like a light orange, okay? So maybe take the rest of that orange, take a little more white, okay? So mix all that in and you'll get like a peachy color, okay? That's what we want. And then here, we're just gonna mix it and it's gonna be a little bit of a darker orange Okay, we're gonna add, what we're gonna add on this is a little bit of red, just a touch of red. And then we'll be ready to, small amount of red, very small. So there you have it. Okay, something like this. All right, now we're gonna use our flat brush. So I decided to use our flat brush and right here, just, you can do it in the center, but I'm gonna do it off center. So I'm gonna do it right here. I'm gonna add the house, dab my brush in the water all the way and use this light orange. 
um, that we have mixed. Okay, we have paint and let's sketch out the building. So I'm gonna have the building right in here. So I'm gonna just go down and add it straight. Okay, I'm gonna go straight and it's okay if you cover some of the trees. Okay, so just add that and then um, we're gonna add a small little house. Someone lives up there, up in the hills. Okay, and then we're gonna add another little section of the house and it's gonna go a little lower and it's gonna come and kind of go in a little bit like this and fade out, okay? Fade it out like this, okay? And then from here, we're gonna add some details right there. And then there'll be like a little Okay, and we're gonna obviously use our detail brush to do that, but for now I'm just sketching everything out. So right here and all the way like this. Quickly sketch it out, okay? And now I'm gonna use part of the this red orange color we have mixed, okay? And I'm gonna add the roof real quick. The roof is going to be about this high and it's going to come down and there will be another roof. And it's going to come down and fade away somewhere in there. Okay. Next, we're gonna add the orange. You don't have to clean your brush. And we're just gonna cover that all the way to the top. Like this, okay? So now I'm gonna clean my flat brush, put it down and use my detail brush. And then what I'm gonna do is use this darkest color, this we have mixed, right? Actually, let's use even a darker color, okay? So we're just gonna use, let's just use black straight out of the tube. How about that? Black straight out of the tube, okay? And swirl your brush kind of like the same technique with water and this darkest black, okay? And we're gonna start defining our little house here in the corner. And we're gonna just go over and draw our roof, okay? Roof right there and make it more defined. Okay, and then here as well, define it a little more so it could look nice. And fade it out. Okay, fade it out. Use a little bit of the black again, and we're gonna leave a little bit of space right here and, and add like a little highlight from the roof right here and go down and make it as straight as possible and create a little shadow going there. Okay, and then we'll, we'll you know, Go back and forth with the details. Use a little bit of water and we're gonna make this a little bit more straight. And then the door, okay. Actually, let's continue adding details. So let's add it straight across all the way like this, okay. And then cover that bottom part with the black and then here remember we added roof okay we're gonna add a straight line going down right in here straight down okay and I'm 
basically defining everything, making it more detailed. So here I'm going to go down. And make this a little lower up until this point. You bring that down with water and the dark color. Okay. And then from here, I'm going to go all the way and have it be ended right in there. So I'm going to actually darken this area like that. Okay, And then like I did to the roof, I'm going to add a little dark shadow here. And then now I'm gonna sketch out my door. So my door is gonna be on this side. Go all the way down lightly and bring it up up until this point. Try to make it as straight as possible and bring it down. Okay, and then let's add a little window next to it. Dab my brush in the water and let's add a little window here. We can go all the way to the top and there'll be little windows there. But for now that's good. I'm going to clean my brush and use the lightest orange again, the first color we put a bit as the base of our house. And remember how I added a little bit lower here? Separation, I'm gonna continue that all the way to this point. Okay, and then here. I made it longer as well. I'm just going over and making it more detailed. Okay, so now I'm gonna clean my brush and use white straight out of the tube and I'm gonna paint the doors. Cover it with white. Okay, and then the same thing with windows, add white. And then I'm going to add some white in here. Remember the far away little windows in here. Okay. So I'm going to clean my brush and use that light orange, you know, this one that we have mixed and swirl my brush. And now I'm going to add a little detail right in here. Let this go down away and here as well and have it go down and it's going to fade away this is the thing that's holding the the house okay and actually I've seen a lot of these kind of houses that have huge little Columns that hold them very high up and they park their car inside. And then one in here and back there somewhere. It's all going to be faded and then right in here. Okay, like 
something like this. And with a dark color, just a black. Remember, this area is supposed to be dark because with the shadows of the house. So we're gonna use some water in this dark black. Gonna bring it down. Okay, same thing here. Bring it down. Okay, and do the same thing right in here on the bottom. Want to make that dark so it can stand out. water in a dark color. I'm going to draw a little line right in here. Okay, and then also add a little details in my house. Maybe there's something going on here. And now I'm going to create some shadows. And so what I'm going to do is use my number four brush. And I'm going to use a little bit of white, okay, and that light orange. And I'm going to go and add it right in here. That orange. Right in the middle. I'm not covering everything. And then I'm gonna put it back because it's getting too small. And I'm gonna use a little bit of the the lighter color, the the pink uh, reddish, where we added the red, the darkest. Um, and I'm gonna cover that because that's where the it's a little, you know, on the corner on the side. So it's gonna be a little bit of a shadow there. Okay. So I'm gonna now I'm gonna clean my brush and use white, okay, white, and go over the edges here and make them brighter okay, on certain parts. Even go over some of your windows because you want it to stand out. Okay, so and then the same thing here, just the edge and here on the roof. Okay. Okay, clean my brush. Use a little bit of the darker color. Mix, maybe use a little bit of this gray and the darkest color, black. We, we Let's use like a gray tone because I don't want these windows to be too dark. Oy. Let's mix it in with white a little and make it lighter just around the windows and the door so it won't look too dramatic. And let's do that. Let's add the dark around these little windows we added, remember? Lightly dab it and then and then what we're gonna do is clean our detail brush and use that reddish orange color we have mixed and right underneath here maybe add a little bit more of the of the black into it so it could be like a shade and let's create a shadow on this roof going down you could use your finger and then this part right here okay and basically that's it all right guys so like I said I'll be done for today 
You can come back and detail the sky, the birds, the power lines, trees, the house, whatever you want. Maybe you can add multiple houses, totally up to you. Have fun with this, take a break, or come back to it the next day or whatever uh, feels best for you. Always enjoy the process. Thank you guys again for being here. I really appreciate you guys. Also, I wanna remind you once again that I do more in-depth lessons uh, every month. So I put them out there for those that are in my mentorship program. Um, if you're interested in that, check out the link down below in the description and uh, you'll get more details on that. All right, guys, take care and God bless.